Hello, and welcome to the Affirmational Build Mix, the only encouragement you'll ever need while building. Let these words build you up while you build. We'll go on a journey together. A journey from nothing to something. It's time to build, and you're the best type of builder. You take your time and build with precision. You plan ahead, and nothing can stand between you and your finished project. Maybe you shirk all other responsibilities in your life, but that's okay. I forgive you, even if no one else does. Because you build like no one else builds. They say that Rome wasn't built in a day, and that's because you weren't there to build with them. You brace your projects perfectly, because you understand that just like people, projects need proper support to be the best version of themselves. Your project is the best because you're the best. And that's why... Wait a second. What is that? Um... Hello? Are you talking about this? I, I can't help that. But it's uneven. That looks terrible. There's no other way for me to do that. I literally have no choice but to stack the connectors like this. I mean, I guess, but that looks pretty bad. Okay, I take back everything I said. You know what? I, this is supposed to be motivational. I'm not really sure if this is some kind of a roast or something else, but you know what? If you can do better, why don't you come do better? All right, you asked oh. for it. I'll make all your problems go away. Wait, really? Okay, maybe not all your problems, but this one in particular because this is the new adjustable 180 degree connector. It allows you to replace those stacked connectors with an all-in-one fitting. Here, check it out. Wait, this looks kind of familiar. Well, you probably recognize the end clamps. These are also used in the adjustable angle connector and in the adjustable angle flange connector. There's two new pieces, however, that clamp a vertical support pipe and the two terminating pipes all together in one connector, which allows you to create an adjustable brace that has two even pipes coming out of the side. Just like all the other connectors, you can assemble it with a single five millimeter hex wrench and this is because the nut pocket features will hold the nut in place while you tighten the bolt from the other side. Just like the adjustable angle connector and the adjustable angle flange, you can leave these two bolts loose and swivel the two end clamps. They swivel up to 90 degrees in either direction for a full range of 180 degrees. You can tighten this bolt here to secure it at a specific angle or leave it loose if you're making a hinge. Won't that cause the middle connection to be loose as well? Slightly, but there's still gonna be enough grip for the middle pipe here for most applications. If you do need to add more strength, you can actually add a self-tapping screw through the connector and into the conduit. We've pre-drilled holes in the middle connector pieces. It's hiding underneath the bands, but you can drill through those, through the connector and into the conduit, and that'll just add overall strength and prevent the middle pipe from slipping. Nice, well, there's still one problem though. This is black and the rest of my build is silver connectors. Oh yeah, don't worry, we have it available in both black and silver, just like the rest of the three quarter inch EMT connectors. Oh, and that reminds me, you can actually use it with half inch EMT conduit if you get some of the standard adapter shims. We have them individually, but you can actually make your own with three quarter inch PEX tubing. You'll need anywhere between one and three, depending on how many pieces of half inch EMT conduit you're trying to connect. Maybe you wanna use three quarter inch in the middle and then do the two braces with half inch EMT. In that scenario, you need two shims. So you just kinda of have to figure out between one and three. If you do get the half inch EMT connector variant on the product page, that'll come with three standard shims. This has actually all been pretty cool, but I do have one more thing to ask. What happens if I take out the middle pipe? Is it still necessary? The center support pipe is definitely necessary and you don't wanna leave it out completely. What you can do is actually replace it with one of these threaded couplings made for half inch rigid conduit. It's made of thick steel, so it'll give plenty of support to the two outer pipes once everything is fully connected. Okay, well, this has been fun, but um, I gotta get back to building, so. All right, fine then. I'll yeah. let you get back to whatever this is. All right, goodbye. You know, he's actually kind of a nice guy.